I'm very grateful for it, totally unexpected. And I suppose when you look at my career in television, in television production, along with so many other people that have helped me along the way, I suppose highlights are in documentary production, the most recent one was Times of Closure, which I think is perhaps the biggest work of mine that I've done. Looking back, you look at the evacuation cause and effect in, in, in the early 90s, which was a necessary look at the story of the evacuation. I think it was done just in time because a lot of interviews were held with people who are now no longer with us. So I, it's, it's important, and that has always been my driving force, I, important for Gibraltar to know its story. And if I'm able to do that and enjoy it at the same time, well, you know, what more do you want? And then there are other things. Earlier than that, there, there was a documentary about a, a significant event in Gibraltar's uh, period, was the, the reclamation um, project. Uh, where Westside now now stands. I mean, that was an extraordinary time to live through, and I think it was important to to put on record. There were other less involved programs, but uh, for example, one series which I started many years ago was um, a day in the life of, of 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 people in Gibraltar, and I think that needs to be continued. It's just another day it was called, and it still run has been running in, in GBC recently as, as an update. And I think it's important because it, it, it makes a reference to society as we know it, and we knew it then. I, I think if you looked at it now, you'd, you'd tell uh, a marked difference in society. And I think it's important that continues. Well, the story of GBC is still very fresh in your mind, it seems. Perhaps now would be a good opportunity to discuss your upcoming project. Well, I've been very, very honoured and privileged to be asked to, to produce a documentary about the GBC story. And the GBC story will um, come to a, uh, an anniversary at the end of this year, in December. The anniversary is to do with the amalgamation of uh, Gibraltar television as it was with Radio Gibraltar and the incorporation and the structure being made officially of GBC, the Gibraltar Broadcasting Corporation. And that will be in, in 60 years at the end of the year. To be asked to produce something that reflects that story is quite frightening, actually, because the, not only is there program content, but there's also the story behind the scenes. And there is, of course, to take on board all the views and the opinions of the public that GBC is serving and has served the good bits and the bad bits. It has to be warts and all because otherwise it's not a valid product. So we're going to be reaching out to the public, myself and, and GBC, to have those stories told to us. And they could be joyous, they could be good memories, they could be bad memories. And we're talking about radio and television at the same time. So it's quite a challenge, but something I'm looking forward to. All of those stories welcome. Uh, do we have a working title for that just yet? We have a working title, and I think it's very appropriate. There was a, a radio program in the 70s which made the only contact possible between Gibraltar families and families in La Lina after the closure. And there were other programs, but there was one that stuck in my mind, and that was called Recordándote. Recordándote was a title of this program which sent messages across to people in Spain. And it was presented by my mother, coincidentally. <laughs> and it's not because of that that I'm using it. It's just that I think it signifies uh, and, and makes sense of a historical backward look, a look back at GBC as a whole and recordando the story. So we're calling it Recordándote the GBC story.